Whoa, here I come. Where's your respect? The nigga shut up, the respect ain't here. Whoa, here I come. It's the pink dungeon. What's going on? It's your boy Eric, aka Young God, coming to you live in the pink dungeon. I giving it to you real raw, rugged. And hey man, today I gotta talk about NBA Young Boy. Now, I actually made a video about this, but I scrapped it and I made a new one because NBA Young Boy has taken a very, very, very dark turn in his life. Not in his career, but in his personal life. But I think that his dark turn could actually be the rise of young black people or young black men from the hood. Let me explain myself. NBA Youngboy wasn't a big fan of him because all his music sounded the same at once upon a time. He dropped his album earlier this year into Death Calls My Name. And I was like, he diversified it. He was rapping, he was singing, he was doing, you know, his little thing. Cause usually he do that whole singing thing, sound like one big song. But then he started rapping a little bit more and I'm like, okay, this is what I want. But as of late, He's been going through things in his life, apparently. I know his dad has life in prison because his uncle snitched, grandma dead, friends dead, friends locked up. He just beat an attempted murder charge. A lot on his mind right now, right? So he's not the happiest person I can obviously tell. And his music has went a very dark, suicidal route. Now, I think this is so important because a lot of rappers from the hood rap about, you know, like, I got pain, you know, this and that, I miss my homeboy, this and... But they never really take that extra step and say, I want to kill myself. I hate myself. I don't want to be on earth. Because usually in the hood, just in the black community in general, when, you, when you're seen as depressed as a man, as a black man, you're looked upon as a weak person. Like, you, man, you white as fuck, boy. Like, boy, if you don't get your white ass off, boy, nigga, nigga, man up. Nigga, be a man. Tighten up. Nigga, tighten that shit up. Jit. Like, niggas is really, really hard on that. You know, like, being depressed, nigga, that's what white people be, you know? So you have to uh, suppress all your problems and just become this quote-unquote man when when you really think about it some black men in the hood have worse lives than uh iraqi iraq soldiers or vietnam soldiers things like that like they're literally losing friends at a at a very unnormal rate at their age this is not losing your friend or family because of of health issues or a car accident they're losing their friends to homicides robberies gone wrong which turned into homicides and that's not normal to be a 17 18 year old kid how however old NBA young boy is and he's losing friends like like this right here at a drop of a dime dude from my city young and ace he's from uh he's like almost the protege of NBA young boy and bro just got shot in a car with three other people tried to he tried to uh to guard his homeboy his brother actually he still ended up uh killing all three of them he was the only person who survived so now he got survivor's guilt you know so the fact that people are going through this and you're like hey you're not supposed to be sad and gonna tighten up and the fact that he's actually making music about it i think that this could possibly help young black men to be like like damn nba young boy i fought with that nigga hard i fought with that nigga heavy and he he's sad and you know he doing all this is it okay for me to let out my emotions? Now, I don't think that he's letting out his emotions the most healthy way because I think that the most one of the most healthy ways is him probably going to a therapist or actually talking to somebody. At the very beginning of Drawing Symbols, this is really what I want to hit on. He talks about, or he shows a letter where he's talking about killing himself. It's literally a suicide letter. He literally says, for the people who want to kill me, be my guest. I'm going to do it anyways. Ha ha ha, you lose. That's some suicidal stuff right there. And that's obviously a person not in his right mental. When you listen to Drawing Symbols, which I want everybody to do, he says so much telling things. He says, um, he says, uh, he said, they say go get that out of his hand. He on a porch with a chopper. They say he probably like seven Zans because it help out his problems. Now that just shows so much. He on a porch with a chopper. So I don't know if he finna go shoot somebody or if he finna go kill himself because I feel like NBA young boys at a point in his life where he might go kill himself or go kill somebody because he doesn't care about life. And that's how a lot of young niggas feel from the hood, but they just don't want to vocalize it. They don't like themselves. They don't love themselves. When they look in the mirror, they see somebody who might have killed somebody, who might have robbed somebody, grandma. They they like I I don't like who I am but they're at a point where they can't vocalize that because if they do they're like nigga's not a bitch ass nigga but the fact that he's vocalizing it is crazy and then the next line he says uh they say he popped like seven zans because it helped with his problems that touches on self-medication which a lot of young niggas do they don't go to a doctor to, to, to go get medicated or, or go talk to a therapist 
they choose weed now pills all of these crazy drugs and they self-medicate and he is a prime example of what they're doing to him saying that he popped like seven Xan because it helped with his problems that's not good i don't think he's endorsing it or saying go do it he's just saying that's how he deals with it which is not healthy but i hope people can listen to this and be like damn like like this is fucked up like this nigga ain't living the way you should be living and I think it's just crazy that people are overlooking this. So I think that NBA Youngboy in this time of his life could be a very, very important figure to help out in the young black communities because these young dudes are going through stuff that's not normal and people should be going through at the age of 16, 15, losing homeboys left and right. Like that's not some normal shit. And he say a lot in this song where I'm like, yo, like this is crazy. He said, um, he said, they say his Miss Walt didn't know him. He was playing with that fire. They say he told his homeboy that he might blow out his mind. Like that stuff like that. Like his, his, his miss came in on him and she seen him playing with that fire. He, ho he told his homeboy that he just might go and blow out his mind. Like that's crazy, bro. He's directly talking about killing himself in a song, which a lot of hood niggas don't do. Definitely from the South. Like, I don't know if it's a different, it's not a different culture anywhere else. That's really how it is with black people, I would assume. But definitely in the South, man. And the fact that he's talking about this, very openly and candidly i think that is very very important and i feel like hopefully more people will listen to this and be like damn like this nigga ain't living right but i feel the same way he's talking to these young niggas soul bro like young niggas that i know that's living some crazy life they out there listening to to nba young boy you feel me and NBA young boys talking to their soul. He ain't go this deep with it though. And I know his niggas out there that don't that, that don't love themselves. Like I know niggas who don't love themselves. They ain't gonna say it though. Like if I ask, they be like, man, what you talking about? And get out my face, shit. They ain't really gonna tell me that they don't love themselves. But niggas really don't love themselves, man. So to hear him talk like this is 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 terrible. But I feel like people need to hear it. You know, it it's some somebody needs to be uncomfortable listening to this. Like, damn. Like this is how young niggas feeling, you know? So I think it's beautiful. And shout out to NBA Young Boy for putting it all out there. I hope he gets help. Um and yeah, he gets on a better path. And yeah, shout out to NBA Young Boy. Until next time I say what I mean, I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate and players gonna play. I let your boy in there, man.